affected by that mass shooting in Half Moon Bay this week. KTV's Ali Rasmus is live to explain the effort underway to provide food, clothing and other resources for about 40 families displaced by the tragedy. Ali. Well, we are at this plaza in downtown Half Moon Bay, right in the middle of Main Street near City Hall. And in the last 72 hours, it's really become more of a focal point, a place where people can uh, leave flowers, candles, other signs of support, handwritten notes, and mourn the seven people killed and person, one person severely injured in the shootings that happened in this community this week. We are learning more about the victims. I spoke with a family member of two brothers who worked at one of the mushroom farms where one of the shootings took place. That family member, a cousin of the two brothers, got confirmation last night that one of them did not survive. Jose Perez was killed by the gunman on Monday, and he leaves behind a wife and four children in Oaxaca, Mexico. Jose's younger brother, Pedro Perez, also worked at the farm. He is the lone survivor of this mass shooting. Pedro Perez, pictured here, is still in the hospital. He and his brother, Jose, came to this mushroom farm off Highway 92 near Half Moon Bay to work about a year ago. Other survivors of this tragedy include about 40 workers and their families who not only worked but lived on site at these farms. They can't go back home because their home is now the site of a criminal investigation. So in the meantime, they're staying in hotels that the city and county are providing. And several community organizations and regular people are trying to help them by gathering donations of food, clothing and money. We are one family of hundreds of families in this community that are <laughs> outraged and want to dig deeper to understand the grief that's happening in our farm worker community. Not just in Half Moon Bay, but across the Bay Area, organizations are working together to help the victims, families, and the survivors. In San Jose this morning, an organization called the Farm Worker Caravan is hosting an emergency donation drive. They're asking for people to come and drop off clothing items, non-perishable foods like canned tuna and granola bars. It's at the San Jose Women's Center where they'll be collecting donations. That's at 75 South 11th Street starting a half hour from now until 2 in the afternoon. And later today, that San Jose uh, Farm Worker Caravan organization will be delivering all the donated items to another nonprofit organization here in Half Moon Bay called ALAS. And both organizations have set up uh, websites and GoFundMe uh, sites in order to uh, get donations from people, anyone watching or people in the community who want to pr provide financial support for the victims and the survivors of these tragedies. Live in Half Moon Bay, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News.